So you're thinking about moving to Marietta, Georgia. Well, this is one of the most desirable and attractive areas of Atlanta. It uh, was established in 1788. So it's one of the oldest cities in Georgia. Uh, it has large employers like uh, Dobbins Air Force Base and it's home to the world champion Atlanta Braves, which we love. I'm here in the historic Marietta Square. And what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna take you around to a couple of different areas and different properties, show you different homes and different price points. See if we can find something that fits into your budget. And then if you stick around to the end, we'll come back, we'll do a market report so that you can get up to speed on the real estate market here in Marietta. So if you have any interest in living here, you're gonna to wanna to stick around for that. And we're gonna get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of living in Atlanta, Georgia, well then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the updated market here in Atlanta, or in this case, where we're at today, Marietta. My name's Denny and the team and I get calls each and every day from people just like you looking to make the move to Atlanta. We absolutely love it. So whether you're moving next week, next month, or next year, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Atlanta. I'm sitting here in the Marietta Square. I'm just gonna pan around really quick because uh, this is an area that everyone around Atlanta is very familiar with. Uh, Marietta established in 1788 and this square is the downtown area. So these are some of the most historic and oldest buildings. You'll find the same thing throughout Marietta. It's very large geographically. It's in Cobb County and so You'll find starter homes, you know, in the 150 to 250,000, all the way up to millions and millions. You'll find older homes, new construction, and everything in between. There's something for everyone. The school systems are great. Actually, one of the high schools is one of the highest rated high schools in the country. We'll talk more about that on our tour. Uh, but one of the major employers is Dobbins Air Force Base. So if you're relocating to work at Dobbins, this is definitely an area that you're gonna wanna check out. And we are super proud to call you know, Marietta, uh, the home to the world champion, Atlanta Braves. Uh, you know, if you know anything about Georgia sports, they, they, they have a tendency to choke when it counts the most. And so for Atlanta to have this storied worst to first season, uh, we're all really excited about that. And so we're gonna wrap this up at the Battery uh, or Truist Park where they play uh, at the end when we do that market report. So there really is something for everyone. Uh, as you can see, it's a, what's today? Today's a Wednesday. It's mid afternoon. There's people and families out here, whether you're a young professional, growing your career, retiree or raising a family. You can see the Christmas trees over there. It's late November. Actually, uh, Thanksgiving is tomorrow. So we got a train over there, all kinds of family friendly stuff. But this is the Marietta Square. Let's uh, hop in the car, give you a tour of the rest of Marietta, and then we'll finish up at the Battery. All right, so this house right behind me was built in 1981, but it has been renovated from head to toe inside. It has new flooring, new paint, new kitchens, new bathrooms, the whole nine yards. It's listed at $405,000. It's five bedrooms, four bathrooms, 2,500 square feet, nice uh, private, well-wooded lot. Uh, looks really great inside. Um, this neighborhood, by the way, looks like it's got a good mixture of like newer, newerly, not newer, newly renovated properties. You can see right here across the street. This one looks like it's uh, got a new fence on it. It's been painted. Looks like a new front uh, stairs been put in. Uh, so that one looks like it's being updated and renovated. There's a mixture of like you know, uh, all the homes were built in the early 1980s. This one was built in 1981, but some of the properties look like they may be in original shape. You have properties like this. Well, yards well manicured. Same thing if you can see behind me. You know, it's, it's very much a mixture of well manicured yards, newer or newly updated homes with maybe some homes that are in original shape. But this here, again, great school district and, uh, great, and great representation of what like the median price point, which is three to four hundred thousand dollars, depending on which zip code you're in. Um, some areas they're a little bit lower if you pick this up and moved it to a different zip code. Uh, but this is right here in the uh, bordering the East Cobb, which is a more more of an affluent area. We could go down the street and for 
2,000 square feet, you could have a fully renovated inside and out uh, right at uh, $375,000. So the high threes, low fours is in most places really gonna be your entry level price point. And this is a good uh, representation of what that might look like. Uh, so let's get to the next property. All right, so we're here in Indian Hills, which is one of the most sought after neighborhoods in East Cobb, which is in Marietta. It's a very affluent area of Marietta. And uh, this is actually in the Walton High School District. Walton High School is the 13th ranked charter school in all of America, the number one ranked school in all of uh, Cobb County and maybe even all of Georgia. Uh, and as you can see, like this neighborhood has a, a really big mixture, like this particular property, by the way, this is it right here. Doop, you see the sign in the yard back there, but I love this. They got a, um, the neighbor has like this little tree swing. I love that. And you can see that house over there is fully renovated. That big old thing behind me, uh, that's a brand new home. So you have, like this home was built in 1971. You have homes that, uh, that have never been updated, homes that have been updated. You have homes that have been recently updated. You have homes that have been built onto. You have homes that have been knocked down and new homes. So you'll get everything from, you know, five, uh, 500,000, four to 500,000 is probably the entry level in this neighborhood, all the way up to like million, two million dollars uh, plus. So uh, this particular property is four bedrooms, three bathrooms. It's 3,500 square feet. It's got a full basement. Some of it's been updated, not all of it, uh, but it's listed at $595,000. Uh, that is it right there. I'm trying to stay away from the sun so that you guys can get a picture of it. Uh, but again, I love, I don't know if y'all can see this, but I personally love these uh, A-frame houses like that. It's got the big window in the front. That's one of my favorites. Uh, but this property is actually was uh, just recently listed and it's already uh, off the market. So I'll walk over here so you can get a little bit better picture of it, but really good representation of like kind of the variety of uh, different style properties that you'll find. In this neighborhood, you'll find uh, brick ranches, you'll find one story, two story, you'll find, uh, you know, 70s uh, modern con uh, kind of uh, uh, design, you'll find contemporary, you'll find like 2021 modern contemporary, like uh, you'll find traditional, you'll find a little bit of really uh, everything that you can imagine in Indian Hills, but great neighborhood, huge variety. And uh, definitely if you're gonna be in Marietta in the East Cobb area, a neighborhood that you're gonna wanna check out and uh, lots of activity, lots of growth. And of, whether you're into golf or not, this is a great neighborhood. If you are into golf, uh, well then this is definitely one that you wanna check out. All right, so we're at one of my favorite homes on the tour and I say that because uh, it's a historic home built in 1901. We're only about a half a mile from where we started, which was the historic Marietta Square. And so it's maybe a 10 minute walk. You can see the roads, you know, it's fairly busy, but look at these homes. I mean, check out this house. This is not the subject property. I'm gonna show you that in a second. But this house, I mean, this street is just lined with these big, beautiful, old, historic homes. So the subject property was built in 1901. It's uh, five bedrooms, four bathrooms. It's nearly 3,000 square feet. Uh, it's got uh, all every new kitchens, new bathrooms, original hardwood floors, which were attached directly to the, the floor joists. So uh, the floors don't squeak. It's all the modern conveniences in an old home. It's got four fireplaces that are gorgeous. Uh, like I said, new bathrooms and kitchens, new fresh paint. Uh, it's got this uh, beautiful wraparound porch. Enough of me talking. Let me show it to you. That's it right there. Can you see that? Let me give you this view right here. So you have that beautiful wraparound porch that I was talking about with the columns. And uh, this is your neighbor and your neighborhoods. Again, fairly busy road, but really close to Marietta Square. So you're, if you're looking for old historic charm, if you're looking for you know something that's unique and has a lot of character, like you're not gonna find that uh, many other places. So 685,000, five bedrooms, four bathrooms, 3,000 square feet, four fireplaces, two offices, tons of storage, original hardwood floors, new paint. Oh man, well, if that's not your thing, well, maybe, let me let this motorcycle go by. That's a pretty cool little street racer there. 
Uh, if old historic is not your thing, maybe new or newer is. So let's come, let's go check out some other houses. All right, uh, I'm about to show you the house, but that's actually the gate right there with this nice new fence and it's an electric gate. So you literally have your own private gated property and it's right here on the corner uh, of this uh, kind of three-way intersection up on a hill. It has amazing, as you can see, curb appeal. I love uh, the big wraparound porch with the columns and the detail. And I mean, wow, it's got really, really, really good curb appeal. Uh, this home has fresh paint on the outside, renovated on the inside, kitchens, bathrooms. It's uh, got an addition of a three-car garage, total of five uh, stalls, so a five-car garage, five bedrooms, four bathrooms, 4,000 square uh, feet, right here in the Walton School District in the heart of East Cobb in Marietta. So I'm gonna walk across the street so we can get a better view. I love the detail on the outside. Um, in the design, wow. If you, I came in this way. So like just driving in here and having that uh, house up on that hill, it just makes a really big, uh, a really big impression. And I love how it's got the kind of basement. That's got a full basement too. The, the basement down here on the bottom with those brick columns and that private backyard. So um, this particular property, I almost forgot, is listed at 800 in $25,000. So again, five bedrooms, four baths, 4,000 square feet, full basement, fully renovated, looks amazing, tons of curb appeal, well manicured, and all for $825,000 in the best school district that you can be in. Number one in Cobb County, number 13 in the country. So that about wraps it up for this home tour. Let's head on over to the Battery. Uh, I'll give you a quick little walk around tour there, and then we'll do that market recap. All right, so I'm about to walk in here and do that market recap for you, but I thought really quick I would just kind of give you uh, a look around the battery and Truist Park. So as you can see behind me, that is Truist Park. That is where the Braves play. And uh, this battery, all of this, I think it was like a $622 million development designed specifically to create one of those, you know, atmosphere. I used to live in Chicago, and so around uh, Wrigley Field, like the, uh, the stadium would just explode on all the bars and restaurants. Uh, around the field and, and it always had this really fun energetic atmosphere so during the World Series you know there were 40,000 people in there there were another 50,000 people out here but uh, this is uh, some of my favorite places uh, Super Rica is right here you have Antico they have really great pizza uh, Punch Bowl Social is uh, right behind me right there and right there you have Yard House which is a really big brewery uh, that spaces is a co-working uh, and there is residential in here too. So it's like apartments, residential, retail, commercial, uh, the Brave Stadium, bars, restaurants, all that stuff. So let's head on in and uh, I'll do that market recap. And maybe I'll just run through here and speed up the video and give you a little walk around tour. All right, well, I am here at the Battery. Hope you enjoyed that home tour and the walk around the Battery where the Braves call home. Uh, I'm at a place called Yard House. Uh, there's a lot of places around here, bars, restaurants, retail, commercial, residential. Hopefully it's not too loud. If it is, I'll just go do this back at my office and maybe I'll show you all this on some B-roll. But what I wanted to do now maybe give you a little bit more information about Marietta in general, the real estate market, some of the um, census data and demographics, things of that nature, and some of the really what I consider like uh, standout attractions of features in the market so that you can get a good idea of what it would be like to call Marietta home before you get here. And so I kind of talked about it at the beginning, the population is just over 62,000 people call Marietta, Georgia home, and the median household income is right at $85,000. 
a year. Um, the like, like a lot of larger cities, um, it's in Cobb County, but there's about 12 or 13, I think 13 different zip codes that make up Marietta. So depending on which zip code you're in, the demographics might vary a little bit. And I talked uh, earlier, I think at the beginning of the video, I said that the median home price, uh, that the median home price was $300,000. Well, uh, it could be, depending on your zip code, as high as uh, five hundred thousand dollars I'd say across all the zip codes uh, it's about four hundred thousand dollars but as you've seen on the tour you can get a, a lot of value for your money in terms of a good uh, starter home or entry-level uh, price point all the way up to sky is the limit and so uh, real quick I'll go through some real estate numbers for you and then want to talk about like the overall market uh, so the, like I said about four hundred thousand New listings this month uh, is 509, so 500 new properties, but the homes for sale, the total is only 504. And so what that should tell you is that they're coming on and off the market within a month. As a matter of fact, the um, pending sales is over 430. Closed sales, those are properties that closed this month, were 420 properties that closed. So days on market is right at seven, which means by the time I edit this video and get it published, even if you watch it on the first day, all those homes are probably gonna be sold. And so it really wasn't about showing you the exact home as much as it was helping you get an idea of what your money would buy here in Marietta. And then obviously the team and I would be glad to help you find the perfect home for you in your situation. Month supply is just over one, it's 1.1 months. All that means is if there were no new homes listed, then a month from now there'd be no homes available. And so that gives you an idea of the snapshot. The market has cooled off just a little bit from the summer highs. Uh, we're here in November actually. And so uh, it's by no means a, a buyer's market. It's still a seller's market. Anything under six months of inventory is a seller's market. Uh, but you're not gonna get 50 showings and 20 offers in the first day like you would over the summer. So great time to buy. Uh, and typically things pick back up in the spring. We'll see in the new year. Uh, but that's the time. I just wanted to give you some context from where when I'm recording this. So you had that. And then as for, you saw a bunch of different price points. Is, as it relates to the price per foot on average across all of the homes is right at $173 a foot. So obviously older versus newer, renovated versus not renovated, all those things go in. Smaller homes usually cost more per foot because there's economies of scale. When you get to the bigger homes, then you know there should be less per foot until you get into luxury, which then the finishes go into that price per foot. But across uh, the whole market, it's 173. So think about it. $173 per foot times a thousand feet would be $173,000 for a thousand square foot home. 2,000 square foot home would just be double that. So you're talking about $346,000 for a 2,000 square foot home. So that should give you kind of an idea based on like what size home you're looking for. And then whether you want an older, newer, uh, and what level finishes you want, that'll give you a good baseline. And I think uh, that's about it for real estate data. Uh, but I wanna just talk about like what it's like to live here in Marietta. Obviously we're here in the Battery where the Braves play in Truist Park. And so uh, this is a, uh, uh, an area, I think they invested um, $622 million uh, building this when the Braves back in 2017 moved from Turner Field in Atlanta out here to Cobb County in Marietta. And so it's surrounded by brand new bars and restaurants and shops and uh, entertainment and attractions, things of that nature. Uh, Marietta uh, covers a lot of different, it's on the, um, uh, a large geography. And so uh, the 285 is the loop around Atlanta. And if you haven't watched our map video, you should check that out. 75 goes Northwest. And so Marietta is Northwest of Atlanta and 75 goes up to Tennessee. And then so Marriott is really on the west and the east side. It's on both sides of 75. And so on the west, you're gonna get more rural if you go out further and you'll get some low, you know, some better values in terms of more house for the money. And on the east side, it's gonna be more um, congested, more urban. 
uh, and, you, and, and property values are going to go up. As a matter of fact, uh, Cobb County school systems are some of the best schools in the entire country. Uh, Walton High School is actually the number one ranked high school in the state and I think number 13 nationally as it relates to charter schools and so it's a very highly rated school district. That school system is also one of the largest employers in all of uh, Marietta and uh, Cobb County. So it's a huge employer in the area. Some of the other employers uh, Dobbins Air Force Base uh, employs over 2,000 uh, 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 reserve and civilian uh, on, on the base. And so it's one of the very few large uh, reserve bases in the country. And so a large employer here, you might be relocating or transferring because of that. Uh, and then like uh, healthcare, the Wellstar healthcare system is really big here in the area. And so you're, there's a lot of large employers. You might be transferring for one of those or maybe just looking for employment. So the job market's very, very strong. Unemployment's very low here in uh, Marietta and in Cobb County. Uh, in Marietta, there's a area called East Cobb, which is the affluent, it's one of the more affluent areas of uh, Marietta. Now, East Cobb is very known for its baseball. Marietta in general is, is widely known and popular if you're in the tennis world, it's like the tennis capital of the world. Uh, East Cobb is the baseball capital of the United States. It, there's a huge, I don't know if that's official, I'm just saying that, there, but there's a huge thriving youth baseball uh, uh, industry or uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm having a brain fart. But uh, youth baseball in East Cobb is huge. I mean, if, if you're an amazing, I actually had a client, a doctor client relocating from Michigan and his son played baseball and we looked at houses on one of their trips and his son was on the best baseball team in Michigan. I mean, great. They came down here for a tournament and they were like middle of the pack and didn't really do so well. So if your kid plays baseball and you're looking for the best of the best, East Cobb is going to be, uh, it needs to be high on your list for consideration of places to live. So that's East Cobb Baseball. Um, the, I, I, is it fitting? I didn't even mean to kind of tie all that together, but I guess I did, right? If you play in East Cobb, you end up on the Braves and you win a World Series. Now, I can't make that promise, but it is possible. That could <laughs> happen. Um, try to think. I think that's about it for all of our Marietta, well, uh, Jason's with me. Jason just insisted. Y'all, Jason's on our team. Great guy, you'll meet him. But the big chicken is in Marietta. Now, if you don't know what the big chicken is, just do Jason a favor and Google it. Because it is a, uh, a big attraction in the Marietta area. It's in the largest section of Marietta. It was built in the 1950s and it's a Kentucky Fried Chicken, but if you can imagine the building looking like the base of a chicken and a huge, I don't know how tall it is, like 50 feet, could be 100 feet, I don't know, it's a huge chicken coming out of this building. And so the big chicken is kind of a Marietta landmark that you're gonna wanna check out while you're here. If I did forget something, hey, I would encourage you to leave a comment below if you've lived here or do live here if you think i missed something if you have some feedback we just want to be a resource for people who are looking to move who want some insight into the market into what marietta is like what it's like to live here um, uh, you can check out our other uh, map videos pros and cons things of that nature it's a great place to live it's the number one search suburb in all of atlanta uh, but there's a, a lot of suburbs that maybe you want to check out. Uh, Alpharetta, Roswell, uh, Johns Creek, Sandy Springs, any of those. But um, if, if we did forget something, I encourage you to leave it in the comments below. would appreciate that. I'm sure our viewers would appreciate it. We appreciate all of our viewers and subscribers. If you haven't already, subscribe below. Click the bell for notifications. That way you get notified when we release new videos. We release a couple of them a week and you want to stay up to date on the market for sure. And if you are making a move, whether it's next week, next month, or next year, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a Zoom. We'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Atlanta, or in this case, Marietta. Hope you guys have a great day. And until then, I will see you on the next episode.